So not every medicinal plant is our best friend. This plant is commonly referred to as white top or whitehead weed in Jamaica. And although it has some uses in folklore medicine, it can also have some serious side effects. In this video, we're going to give you a profile of this plant, including its traditional uses and side effects. So watch until the end guys, so you don't miss anything. So guys, the scientific name for whitehead weed is Parthenium hysterophorus. And apart from whitehead weed and white top, it does have other common names in different languages too. But it depends on the region in which it is found. In English, some of the other common names are, for example, bastard fever few, carrot weed, carrot grass, and mugwort, among many other common names. Whitehead weed belongs to the Asteraceae plant family, and the genus is called Parthenium. The native range for this plant is some parts of the United States, South America, Central America, and the Caribbean. But it was introduced to other tropical and subtropical parts of the world, like some parts of Asia, Africa, and Oceania. Okay guys, so whitehead weed is a medium-sized shrub that is upright and much branched. It has a basal rosette of leaves during the early stages of growth and it can grow to a height of between 0.5 to 1.5 meters tall. The leaves are pale green branched and covered with soft fine hairs they are also alternate and simple with stalks up to two centimeters tall the lower leaves are relatively large and are deeply divided the leaves on the upper branches decrease in size and are less divided than the lower leaves the stems of the plants are cylindrical and they have longitudinal strips that are like channels and there are a lot of hairs all over the stems. But in smaller plants you may not observe this detail. Numerous small flower heads are arranged in clusters at the tips of the branches each flower head is borne on a stalk between 1 to 8 millimeters long. The flower heads are white or cream and they have five tiny petals. They also have numerous tiny white flowers in the center and are surrounded by two rows of small green bracts. The color changes to light brown when the seeds are mature and about to shed. Five small akines are usually produced in each flower head and they consist of a black seed. In Jamaica, the plant can be found growing organically, wildly, and abundantly all over the island, along roadsides, in people's yards, and in other green spaces. And the plant is propagated by seeds.
Scientists have identified that the plant has compounds with analgesic, anti-inflammatory, antioxidant, sedative, antimicrobial, anti-tumor, hypoglycemic, and anti-HIV action and compounds that can inhibit an enzyme linked to the onset of Alzheimer's, but this does not necessarily mean that it can be used for medicinal purposes. In folklore medicine, ethnobotanical records show that this plant is used in some countries, mainly South America, to treat some maladies like neurological disorders, malaria, infections, skin problems, herpes, rheumatic pain, fever, and diarrhea. Also for skin inflammation, UTIs, and dysentery. In Jamaica, some writers speak of the use of this herb in resolutive baths and infusions for the treatment of wounds. Country people also use it to prepare a decoction for colds. So studies have shown that this plant has toxic compounds and the main one is parthenin which can cause skin and respiratory allergies to people who are sensitive to this substance. Despite the fact that whitehead weed is used for medicinal purposes in some countries there are no studies that can confirm the safety of it for medicinal purposes. That's it for now guys. Please remember to do your own research. <laughs>